The next problem is 10-3, and they're talking about a different cube that has a side length of 5. Write two expressions that would represent how to find the volume of the cube. One expression should use exponents. All right, so the first thing we might want to do is draw a cube so that we have a picture of what we're looking at. So here's my not so great cube, but it kind of looks like a cube. All right, and we know that this is five, but we know that every side is five. So I'll just keep labeling these five by five. Okay, now that we know all, all of them are five, I don't necessarily have to label all of them. All right, write two expressions that would represent how to find the volume of the cube. So this is what we're looking for, the volume. And we know that one expression would be length times width times height. And so volume, one expression for finding the volume of this cube would be just to put 5 in for the length times 5 for the width times 5 for the height. So 5 times 5 times 5 is equal to the volume. Then we're supposed to find another expression using exponents. Well, if we have one number that is multiplied times itself three times, we can represent that with an exponent. So 5 would be the base, and then it's multiplied three times times itself, so that is our exponent, 3. So the volume is equal to 5 cubed. So this is the definition of phi of a cube. We've got one, two, three, an exponent of three.